guys, it's Peter8748 with another video at you. This is a major milestone video. Um, I actually finally figured out and finalized what I wanted my layout and track plan to look like for the most part. The uh, track plan is done. Uh, the placement of the industries is still going to be a little bit up in the air, but I'm going to show you like a generalized uh, placing of it. I'm going to have three main, uh, sorry, two main customers for revenue and a train station. So when we come back with this video, I will show you a uh, detailed run through of the track plan and industries on my layout. All right, guys, let's get started with the overview of the uh, layout track plan. Uh, originally, I was going to call the railroad the Canadian Pacific Chatham subdivision, but I scrapped that. I'm no longer doing an FNL facility, just don't have the space with the elements I wanted. Uh, but let's go uh, in uh, depth of what I'm going to have for industries and my track plan. So when you're entering from the, uh, sorry, going um, west, there's going to be a staging shelf here. But when you enter, you're going to hit a left number 8 switch. This is going to be the main line. I'm going to have a train station in the back here. The station I'm thinking of going with is the Walther City Station. It's going to be cut in half as a backdrop building because I don't have too much room to uh, put it in. And on this side I might do a little uh, uh, CP Rail Yard Office, uh, maybe somewhere else uh, space permitting. Once you go down the main line, you hit a number 8 right switch and that's going to lead to a siding right over here and in that siding is going to be a, a feed or pet food company I haven't decided what I'm going to call it yet I'm going to be buying the Walther's bakery kit it has uh, some of the different uh, ingredient tanks I'm also going to have the wet dry storage tanks from Walther's and the uh, corns hopper with the uh, corn heater on the bottom here as you can see building here and here uh, dry tanks properly here uh, and so forth just uh, how the placement is going to be so once it passes this switch the uh, main line goes into a 26 radius curve into a scenery element and you're going to have a bridge here the back bridge is going to be a truss bridge as you can see here so that's going to be the main line and that's going to service uh, primarily my uh, trains going through uh, and my uh, via rail uh, local so going back to the uh, uh, secondary line so once you going west again once you hit the number eight left you go into your sideline here not a main line but just a sideline then you're gonna have a number six right hand crossover you can go back to the main line so basically when my train is going to be unloading cars, it's going to go in here and it's going to use this secondary line if need be. And that secondary line bridge over here is going to be over here. It's going to be a concrete deck ballasted bridge. And I don't know if I'm going to have a road underneath or a river scene yet here. I'm still kind of uh, debating it or maybe even a highway overpass or even just uh, passing over a highway so if you guys have any ideas or input let me know. So that's a secondary line like I said and then that leads into the yard. So here is going to be the yard leads going to be a number six uh, going into two number left. This first siding is going to be where the train drops off the full cars for the industries the secondary track is going to be uh, the empties and the parking for the switcher and then you lead past the yard to a number uh, six right and a number six left hand turnout to one huge industry um, and this industry is going to be in uh, honor of uh, one of my YouTube friends that actually funded most of the HO from N-Scale Switchover, uh, Roy Hartwick. So this whole facility here is going to be Roy Hartwick's trucking. Uh, so basically the trains are going to pull in a lot of commodities. Here what I'm going to have is I wanted ethanol 
an ethanol tanks but I didn't have room for an ethanol um, plant just too massive for the room I have again guys this is a uh, this span is 12 feet and with a four foot addition here so I just didn't have uh, room by the way I forgot to mention to you guys the secondary curve is a 24 so this is a 26 and a 24 so at 26 I'm still gonna be tight a little bit with my via rail cars but that's the best I can do and then the 24 will let me do some via rail cars as well if I need be so again uh, once the train comes in here this is gonna be my ethanol transloading facility so what I'm gonna have here I'm gonna scratch build this I took a picture of Google I'm gonna have ethanol storage uh, tanks because I'm not always gonna have trucks uh, getting pumped right from the ethanol train cars I'm gonna have these storage tanks either here if I have room or I'm gonna put them off to the side here and then I'm gonna have a road on this side leading to the facility and on here I'm gonna have the um, sorry the uh, tanker pump sorry the pump house so that's gonna be here the modern uh, Walders pump house I'm not gonna have the overhang on it I know there's two different uh, ones they have they have this one with the overhang and one without so that's what I'm gonna gonna have here and one's gonna be here for the trucks so the two are gonna be here for the uh, um, tankers and then here one for the to load the trucks and again these are going to be the main storage tanks are either going to be on this side or on this side here on this side here this is mainly going to be a uh, run through backup uh, track but it's also going to serve uh, one or two uh, cars so uh, here I'm going to have a warehouse storage building transfer building it's going to be uh, this guy here it's a Walvers kit as well and I'm gonna have the doors facing this way for the trucks to drive up and the doors for the boxcar so this is gonna be a boxcar track right sorry sorry about my camera so this is gonna be a boxcar track right here like I said this is gonna be a passing through track so the way this is gonna work is obviously when the train backs in, it has no problem leaving off cars here and here. It's gonna have a problem leaving cars here. So what's gonna happen is when the switcher picks up the full cars here, it's gonna go up the switch, back up, the decouple, do a run around on the main line, come back, push the cars past this switch and then back up all the way in and then go forward into pick up or drop off the tank cars that's going to be the same procedure to um, load and unload the grain hoppers and corn hoppers to the feed company on this siding so i fought this through uh, made it really prototypical uh, where i'm going to have a lot of runarounds and a lot of great switching so again full car track empty car track so this uh, like i mentioned this is not just going to be a runaround track um roy hardwick in real life does a lot of flatbed loads so what i'm actually going to have believe it or not with this parking space being a little bit open and i'm going to be doing it like a parking space i might elongate this track a little bit depending on how much room i need for empty cars but I can always drop empty cars uh, here if need be on this track. Uh, what I'm going to have is uh, flatbed and bulkhead cars and the odd, um, sorry, the odd uh, well car for containers. Items where uh, forklifts or a mobile crane can come, unload it, put it on the uh, truck same thing with the uh, well car for one or two containers gonna have one of those uh, container forklifts here that picks up the container from the top to uh, do that so that's my plan for the layout guys and for the track plan I'm pretty much happy with the way it's gonna uh, be with the uh, the way it's uh, devised again might lengthen these tracks here 
might even lengthen this track to lower this a little bit to see how spacing is. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here's a couple more pictures of different pump houses I'm toying with. This would be mostly to load the uh, trucks. So again, two major um, customers, the Pet Food Feed Company, which is going to have grain and corn cars, sorry, hoppers. And then the trucking facility here that's going to be transload ethanol, boxcars, reefers, and your bulkhead flats, flats, and the odd well car. Um, and here is going to be mostly my scenic element for the uh, layout. I wanted, like I said, uh, maybe a highway overpass scene or a river crossing with a forest and trees here just for uh, photography elements and I'm also gonna have a temporary shelf leading out here so the train can go off the layout uh, if need be. So if you guys have any suggestions or feedback on this like uh, always please uh, g give me the feedback on the track plan see what you guys think uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, like always, guys, thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.